Hi, this is Pamela Diaz on the day of the Great California Shakeout and also the Loma Prieta earthquake anniversary. Thousands of Californians practice how to drop, cover and hold on. And we were in Los Angeles and San Francisco to capture some of those activities. It's the moment when a magnitude 7.1 earthquake strikes. We were in, down in the library in the basement and I went under the table when uh, the earthquake starts shaking and it just like everything started going crazy. A chaotic scene in which many were injured. Others were screaming for help while some knew exactly what to do. I was able to cover uh, myself under the table like I said and then the smoke and everything, the dust uh, was awful, so I started coughing, but I was able to stand up and be able to find where can I keep safe. Rosa was one of 100 role players who participated in this mock earthquake organized by Biola University to demonstrate how devastating an earthquake can be and how well prepared their campus is for this type of disaster. So we've done a lot of different improvements across campus, including having all the buildings, about 50 of them retrofitted for earthquake. So there's, there's 18 officers, but two of them have been trained to be EMT. So in the case of an emergency like an earthquake, they can actually respond uh, quickly because they're on campus uh, and sort of prepare things for the paramedics to come, but they're trained EMT. And then we have nursing students that have been trained as well. And then it, recently over summer, I believe it was in July, we acquired a early warning system. Um, so that our campus can be notified if an earthquake is occurring. This year, Biola University was Southern California's epicenter for earthquake preparedness demonstrations on the Great Shakeout Earthquake Drills Day. Hundreds of students and faculty had the opportunity to experience firsthand how severe earthquake shaking can be and learn from experts the importance to be self-sufficient during a disaster. So we tell people, one, you know, look at the community emergency response team and join up for CERT. Find out how you could be a leader in your community. Second of all, make sure that you look at your emergency preparedness kit to see what's involved, to see if you need to update it, and then also make sure that it pertains to your family. The shakeout drill grabbed the attention of local, national, and international media. And this year in California, the drill broke a state record with more than 10.8 million registered to practice how to drop, cover, and hold on when the earth shakes. If a Hayward in cities like San Francisco, earthquake, earthquake preparedness was also the focus. The local media played a crucial role too, and local officials like Mayor London Breed joined students to practice earthquake safety. Coincidentally, this took place on the same day when back in 1989, the Bay Area was rattled by the 6.9 magnitude Loma Prieta earthquake, which killed 63 people and left thousands of homes uninhabitable. We've come a long way and we're still standing, stronger and more amazing than ever. A lot has been learned from Loma Prieta and other earthquakes in California over the years. The importance of retrofitting older houses built before 1980 to strengthen them against earthquake damage should be a priority for homeowners. We still have houses that are vulnerable, houses that can come off of their foundation, houses that, you know, very few of them that could collapse, but houses that could have significant damage to them, causing significant financial trouble. And having earthquake insurance as part of preparedness measures will also help pay to repair or rebuild a damaged home and replace belongings after a damaging earthquake. Also on Shakeout Day, Governor Gavin Newsom launched a new cell phone app called MyShake, which will alert Californians about an earthquake a few seconds before it strikes. If you need more information, visit the page on your screen. In La Mirada, Pamela Diaz, California Earthquake News.